See, he's way up there already. There's Hunter. Yeah, day before yesterday, got into a fight. Thank you, Wiley. Made two videos already this morning. One of him actually wanted to relax with me. He's going potty. Hunter is not going too far to go potty yet. But in the first video I made for this morning, or second technically, but the first one with the group, we had distractions. We had a new fee and a golden retriever. Thank you, Barney. Charge! Good boy. Yeah, a little further out. Oh, good job. Nigga, you're all foamy already. You're foamy. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you, Barney. Oh, you thief. Thank you, Wiley. Go away! Oh, you got him. You feel better, Hunter? So he's moving a little bit more. So he's in a good mood. He's more social today. He was social yesterday too. I gotta set my camera down. He was social yesterday too, but he stayed closer and wanted to hang out. Today he looks like he's gonna venture out a little bit more and be more, a little more active. Thank you, Pete. Thank you. Hi, Hunter. Come here. Yeah. I didn't call you. Go away, I didn't call you. Thank you, Hunter. Jeez. You're so snapper. I'll get you first. Thank you, gentle. All right, let's play ball. So now we got to de-stress. There you go. I'm gonna let him de-stress. That's the playing that we're doing right now. Let him take some of his frustrations out because the first video we had, oh my God. The first video we had was him seeing other dogs, a Newfie and a Golden Retriever. Thank you, Hunter. Touch, oh, I tricked you. And he didn't act out. And then he got to go to the bathroom, then he came over and saw his friends, I let them out. And now we're just gonna play. Hunter, where's your ball? Did you lose your ball? Let's go find it. Come on, let's go find it. Oh, sorry. You gonna get it, Barney? You liar. You liar. Can I have it? Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. So with him, I'm not gonna throw it hard. Give it to me. Give it to me. You can't have it. You can't have it. You can't have it. No. No. Okay, girl. Get it, get it. What are you gonna do? Oh, you're so fast. You're so fast. You're so fast. Now, when I do this with him, thank you, Hunter. Where did it go? So I have this, which, watch. He doesn't want, so you know like a lot of times you can tease a dog with the ball. He missed. Ready? He doesn't want to go get it. What does he want to do? He wants interaction. And a lot of dogs, they prefer to have something in their mouth when they interact with you. Where's your ball? You have to go find it? Okay. You're up at the same spot over here. Contact. Oh, you touched it. Good job. Oh, thank you, Wiley. Oh, I don't know if that got caught on air, but Wiley actually jumped. Good job, Wiley. Thank you, Barney. Thank you, Hunter. I'm not gonna push him too much to play. Can I have it, Wiley? What? Can, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I missed again. I missed again. 
Oh man! Oh my god, I missed! Oh man, I missed! Oh, is this fun for you? Is this fun for you? Is this fun for you? Give it back! Never play chase with your dog. Bullshit! Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit! Because they will run away. It's a natural instinct. Yes, the game of tag happens when dogs want interaction. <laughs> dogs play chase and tag. Run, tag your butt, run away. Tag your butt, <coughs> run away. <coughs> tag, you're it. <laughs> Watch dogs at dog parks, daycares, with open play groups. They want to interact this way. But it's a lot more fun when you're actually one-on-one -on -one and you have a, a ball in your mouth for them. Barney, good, leave it. I'll get you out. Thank you, good, out. Hunter, where's your ball? You wanna cuddle? Come here, Hunter. You wanna cuddle? No? Where's your ball? So I give them multiple options. They want to cuddle. They want to continue playing. They want to go lay down. Give it to me. Ah, I got it. I didn't get bit. Well, I got scraped. Barney. See if you out. If you Barney out. If he was that interested in that. Out, please. Thank you, Hunter. See, this is what you really want. That's what you really want. Thank you. Can I have it? Ah. 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 Give it back. Give it back. Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. Good leader. What? When they're in a good mood, interact, socialize. Play with them because their brain's just having a blast. Literally, it's, it's proven on, on, on fMRIs. It's proven with all the electronic electrodes on the brain that they're actually, when they're having fun with you and they're having fun by themselves and then invite you, it's completely rewarding. Every reward center, every pathway that can lead to something rewarding is lighting up. When they're having fun, they feel safe. That's the top of the emotional scale, emotional system scale. They want to play, they invite you, chase and play. Ooh, Wiley did get me twice. Wiley, when they're able to do this, they're having fun. They invite you, it's even more fun, they're social. Now you got the social connection. Now you've built bonding. Now you got cognitive function. Now you're learning about cultural biases when you're an adult, when you're a kid. You're learning about social rules, and you're learning cog you get your cognitive function kicking in. This isn't just rewarding. When people say play behavior is learned, play styles are learned. The desire and the urge to play is innate. Deep down in your brain, in your midbrain, your limbic system has that. Thank you. See how eager these guys are? Not just for this. But they're willing to be more patient to get a reward. I didn't make them stay. You did not hear me make them stay at all. Wiley's over here chasing the ball and playing his own little games, figuring out how he just actually jumped over the log to get the ball and decided to walk around. Thank you, Wiley. Now he wants interaction. Now he wants me to play with him. Did you get it, Hunter? Hunter, careful. Wiley. Thank you, Hunter. Ready? Come here. Thank you. Thank you, Wiley. When they're in a good mood, it's so much easier to reward for stuff. Can I have it? Thank you, Wiley. Okay, last one, Wiley. Thank you. Motivations depends on what the brain says. He's still food motivated. I could train him all I want with food. He wants to play with the ball. He wants the interaction with the ball. But I can always reward that. Wiley, sit. Wiley. But it's not going to happen with the balls around. Because this is the main motivator. 
Oh yeah, I said last one, but I mean it this time. Sorry, Barney. So this is Scott with second and 0 in canine life coaching. I got your butt. I got your butt. What was that? Hunter. What was that? Did you find your ball? Oh, you got your stick. Good job. Barney, out please. All right. Did you lose it, Wiley? It's all right, we gotta go on a ball hunting expedition anyways. I'll help you. When they're out searching and having fun, they want, they're receptive to you. Even though Wiley's out looking for the ball or he's playing with the ball, he's fully aware of his environment and what's gonna help him feel safe and have fun. That's just the way the brain works. If you don't believe me, feel free to look up effective neuroscience and social neuroscience. Barney out, please. Haha, <laughs> 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 you can't have them both. They're little twigs. Did you, good job, Wiley. That's it, I said last one. Thank you. So now that we actually played a little bit. Barney, where's your stick that I gave you? That's it, Wiley, we're done. Thank you. Now we can settle. Cuddle with him. Oh, do you need more attention? Do you need more attention? Oh my god. Barney, out please. Sorry, the mosquito on you. Ow, get out of my butt. 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 Look what I got. You want him? Oh my goodness. Good boy. Good leave it. Oh my goodness. Good job. So I made Wiley unsafe, made him nervous, Barney stopped, I put him down, everybody felt good, and we're gravy. Did you get that? I pushed it a little hard, I'm sorry. All right, let's, let's relax. We're going to go for a little bit of a walk, relax, go potty, get our brains to calm down, and we're going to have a great day. See, everybody's feeling safer, Hunter feels better. Help me if we'll find the ball, Wiley. Hunter. And see, he didn't even have to run around all that hard either. He was able to just sit and relax with us. I think I gave the ball to Barney up here, or Wiley up there. Hunter up here. I hate going through these things. These are where spiders hang out. See, all over the tree. Thank you, Barney. Oh, you found it. Thank you so much, Wiley. And I don't know if you ever know, even though he's a ball hog, he sought that out. He found that. Like I had an idea and he stood there by it. Good job. Because he feels rewarded and safe. His motivations, his uh, emotional needs were met. Now we're going to go work on physical needs, huh, Hunter? Go get some water. Double lines on his face. The way the ears move. Wiley, let's go down here and cuddle. You want to cuddle? I have nowhere to sit. Oh, I got to sit on an old branch. I'm going to hold my weight. Whoa! It did not hold my weight! Ah! I broke your branch. Whoa. I broke your branch. Good job, Warden. Good leave it. Come on, let's let Hunter have that. Thank you, Hunter. I broke it! And I screamed! I gotta promise him, I said, let's cuddle. I gotta be consistent on that, correct? He came to me, I can rely on treats. But he came to me for cuddles. I asked him if he wanted it. He says yes. He came over. And if I gave him a treat for coming and then just left it at that, that means I lied. That means I lied to you. Mosquitoes. Good boy, Hunter. Get out of my mud, Barty! Did you die? Did you die? Hey! Wake up! Wake up! Are you alive? Wiley! Wiley! Oh my goodness! Oh, he almost got you. What's that, Hunter? Did Hunter scare you? Let's go get Hunter. You wanna go get him? I gotta go get him. I gotta go get him! I got it! 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 Woohoo! Good job. Ready, Hunter? Give it to me. Give it to me. 
Haha, you almost got stuck. Come on, Barney. Barney. Thank you. Good out. All right. Let's go get water. Come on. Let's go get some water now. Come on, Hunter. Thank you, Barney. Oh, you're running much faster now. Much faster now. I'm not going to stop the zoomies. Good job, Wiley. He's going to get you. Did that feel funny? Oh, that was interesting. Good job, Barney. Good job. Good job. Go get him. Go get him. Good boy. Good boy. Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. Good boy, Barney. Thank you. Thank you. So that was really flipping good. Thank you, Barney. These two don't interact. Barney, out, please. Good boy. Good job. Come on. All right, you ready to go home? Let's go get some water. That breathing. Hunter got everybody to engage. Oh, my flipping God. That is fantastic. Thank you, Hunter. Good job, Barney. Barney was nervous, but he engaged. I encouraged him. I got him to stop. I got Hunter to stop before I got Barney to stop. When the dogs feel safe with you, they will play. Thank you, Barney. Just wait. Hold on. When they play, they're totally self-expressing in the moment how they feel, and they are happy. Because I'm happy. Thank you. I'm rewarding more because now we need to calm down a little bit. I'm not rewarding for calming behaviors. You're not going to change an emotional mindset by clicking and treating. I dare you. Prove me wrong. You're going to get those behaviors. Those are physical. You're not going to click a mindset. You can acknowledge it, but you're not going to mark for it because as soon as you put a treat in a dog's mouth, they go to a consummatory phase. That means their brain set has changed. What happens after that is important as well. If you want to mark with a calming behavior, you match it. My dog's acting calm, I'm going to come be calm with them. I will mark and reward that way. So touch is also going to be a calming behavior. Thank you, Wiley. Oh boy. Thank you. This is marking for a calming behavior. This is also rewarding because he knows this is what he really wanted. And now you're all dirty and your dad's gonna kill me. You don't care, do you? That is not a calming behavior, that's a passive behavior. Thank you, Wiley. I'm not gonna get a calming behavior from him because he loves being out here. Thank you, Hunter. As soon as I say thank you, he gets up a little bit more excited. Thank you, Hunter. Good job. Oops, sorry, I stepped on your leash. All right, come on, Wiley. What are you doing? He died. He died. <laughs> I hope I got that picture. All right. Now, oh, I need to get water too. I need to get water too. But after a heavy activity, or when your dog's anxious and you want them to calm down, you don't teach them to calm. You meet that anxiety behavior by saying, what do you need? Once you meet that need and you help them relax by releasing oxytocins, then you're going to influence them to relax. That's the panic grief system. That's your panic distress. If your dog's being anxious around you and they start to get a little more hyper, don't teach them alternative behaviors. Meet that emotional need of being panic distress. That's what the mother does when the dog, when the, uh, look up panic distress. Baby cries out, mother calls, baby feels better. So with these dogs, as soon as they start feeling anxious or nervous, I got you, Hunter. I got you, Barney. I got you, Wiley. Then I could focus on the other behaviors because oxytocin automatically gets released when you're with somebody you trust or you've built a bond with. If they are seeking your help, you must give it. Don't teach them an alternative behavior because you're not matching the need. You're not meeting the need. 
You cannot send a kid out for timeout because they're stressed or scared or something like that. You got to stop and go, what is it? You don't go, oh, well, I'll go scare that bad guy away unless it's a real threat. You sit there and go, I got you. Scan the horizon, figure out how you're going to make it work. Let's go home. Let's find a way to make this happen. I got you. I'll protect you. But we got to go this way. Most people know unless their child is going to be protected, they're not going to fight something unless they know their kid's going to be taken care of because you don't want your kid screaming in the middle of the street because something happened to you. So you do what you can to take care of them. Thank you, Wiley. Good come. Once you take care of them, and that might mean going against your anger and frustration. Come on, Wiley. Hunter. Good, stop. Might go mean going against your anger and your frustration to fight and attack that thing that hurts your child. Hold on, Hunter. Come on, Wiley. We'll cuddle in a minute. And you help them feel safe. That's your care system. Once you're helping something feel safe in the moment. Come here, Hunter's over too far away. Thank you. Thank you. Because that experience that kid's going to have is going to be very traumatizing. So we stop and we watch. Make sure we're safe. I got you. Hunter, you feel better? Thank you. You feel better, Wiley? Ooh, that mosquito's got you. He's got blood in him. And then we can walk back. Then we can leave safely together and I can be fully aware and I can, then I can start thinking with my prefrontal cortex of how to take care of it. Do I need to beat his ass? Do I need to kill this person? Are they stalking us? Are they leaving us alone? Then you start to ask all those important questions so you can take care of what's right in front of you. This is something that needs your help and has asked for it because they are scared or whatnot. You don't make them get over it. You don't tell them to stop it. You don't redirect them to do something else unless they already trust you and they're willing to do it. I see him, Hunter. Let's go left. Hunter, let's go left. That's fine because that's something we've acknowledged. That's something we've done. He knows that's consistent if there's something else going on. I'm not going to drag him out. I'm not going to pull him out. <sighs> Thank you, Wiley. So this is Scott with Second and No One Canine Life Coaching. My dogs are getting antsy because they need water. Have a great day.